Hey everyone, Maki here. I'm uh, making a hot animation tutorial for you all because I've had uh, a couple of requests uh, to do so. So we're going to do it today, right? Now this is uh, the fourth time that I've done this. Uh, hopefully I actually have the microphone this, on this time. So let's see, right? Let's see. <laughs> so for this tutorial, I'm going to be using Clip Studio and Cressa to make this animation, right? So first of all, what you want to do uh, in, Cl in Clip Studio is make, make a, uh, a canvas, obviously. Does it really matter what um, uh, your settings are, right? And then we want to go to window and then timeline, right? Now, when you click this, that that's what brings this up, right? This thing at the bottom. Now, after that, we need to press this button here called New Timeline, right? You can see it here. Right, click that. And uh, this is timeline one. You can name this if you want. Uh, let's see frame rate, all that. None of this really matters, right? None of this really matters. We can change a lot of this later, so we'll just say okay to this. Right, here we are. We now have our timeline, right? So first we're going to make an animation folder. Making this will make, make it so we can use it on our timeline, right? So what we're going to do is this button here. Right? It's called a uh, new animation folder, and it'll make a thing here, right? And we can name this whatever we want, but I'm not going to name it anything because I don't feel like it. And then we're going to add a folder, and that folder is going to be called uh, Frame One. And then in that folder, we are going to have a layer, right? Th this is basically going to be our frames, right? So if we do another folder like this, it'll make Frame Two, uh, Frame Three, Frame Four, Frame Five, etc. Uh, we're only going to do four frames this tutorial, I think. So in Frame One. Go select the layer and then we're going to right click on the timeline and then we're going to select frame one right and then for the rest of these I'll, I'll just make them so we'll make frame, frame two uh do uh frame three and frame four right and then we'll move this blue bit because that's going to be the end of our animation so I'm just going to put it there so one two three four right Alright, so now we're going to draw something. So I'm going to draw just some uh, numbers, right? So we're going to do one. Right, that's frame one, right? Right, then frame two, we need to put a uh, layer in that. And then we'll call this frame two. And then frame three, we'll just put another one. And we'll call this three. And then four, we'll put a four in. Now, if I press play, you can see it will cycle through them R really quickly, but it does cycle through them, right? So if we uh, go on to animation at the top, uh, timeline, then change frame rate, we can change that down. Uh, we'll make this at 10 frames per second. So you can see it uh, more better now, right? Now, that's not the only thing you can do with these folders, right? But you, you can literally add like another folder in the folder and then put your layers in there and then just draw like more stuff on there like <laughs> let's do like another one there's like another one in the corner right and they'll want to like make another layer we'll make this one like a blue color uh we'll make it like half transparent and then put like a uh, a question mark here right just whatever right and then that will all still appear on um, that first frame, right? Yeah, I find this like really convenient. So if you need to like, find like a specific part of the animation that you want to edit or you want to add to it, you can easily um, uh, get to it. So as you can see, this is my um, my spooky dance animation, right? That I've done, right? And you can see that I've done the exact same thing here. So folder, uh, uh, like duplicate the line art. Uh, the line folder, the color, and the sketch, right? All in like one one um, animation folder, right? Yeah, that's why I do that because it's 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 really helpful, right? It's really helpful, and it's not doesn't get like super confused and cluttered up, right? Now another thing, if you you're doing like an animation, you can enable an onion skin. So if we go to animation, then show animation cells, we can go enable onion skin, right? Let's see, that's the previous frame, but you can also see the next frame, right? And if you go to uh, the onion skin settings, 
on here you can like change your opacity or the previous frames and that and you know, that's it. Yeah, so that way if, if in case you want to do something on top of like this previous thing that we've done uh we've got an exclamation mark here or whatever right so they look they're, they're not in the same place and it kind of just makes sense in context of this weird animation i'm doing right and yeah so we'll just like do it for the rest of these so i'll do another question mark like this and then do like another three and then four have another exclamation mark like that uh, I've got like a kind of like uh, a bouncy like exclamation mark thing. Although we're going to turn back the opacity on this frame. Like that. Now, yeah, see, so as you can see, it's all about moving. Yeah, right. Now, another thing you can do if we bring this uh, this blue bit back, we could uh, separate the frames a bit. So if we do this, and we will just make it. Every second frame is one of our pictures, right? And that will make it uh, a bit slower, right? Which will mean we're going to want to up the frame rate on it. So we change that to like 24, right? So we're just going to go File, Export Animation, Animated GIF. And then we'll just put it here and I'll call this uh, Example. Yep. Pussy. And we need to make sure all this is uh, correct. So I think we had it. Uh, I don't remember what frame rate we had it at. Hang on. It's animation timeline, frame rate. Yeah, we had it on 24. Okay. Yeah, sometimes when you uh, do this, it um, changes the frame rate and it's kind of annoying. Right, here we go. 24. And uh, we'll make the size 500 by 500. We'll just OK that. And yeah, as you can see, if we go to example, there's our GIF, right? There's our GIF. Now, if it had a background and that and, and all that, then that's perfect, right? You don't need to do much else, right? However, since we're um, trying to uh, do this with a transparent background, which I will show you here, if we remove the transparent background, then we export it again. Example. Okay. okay. Alright, now we've done that. Let's see, it's got like a white background, right? And that will be it will still be there. It will still be like a white background. So we don't want that, right? We don't want want that. So what we want to do is file, export animation, and image sequence. And we're going to yep, well that's correct. You check the frame rate and size. Uh we're gonna keep it at uh, 1120 because that's the canvas size I use normally. And now as you can see, we've got um, uh, the individual frames, right? And since we spaced it out by um, uh, with two, so it's like one, one, two, two, three, three, right? That's because we spaced it out by two, right? But anyway, now we open uh, Krissa. Uh, we do new. We have to make sure this canvas size is the same as the um, animation, which is uh, correct. Also, before I go into the uh, animation aspects of this program, um, I'm using version 4.47. So, uh, this might look a bit different to the most recent version. I'll find the um, link for that and I'll put it in the description as well because it's a bit of a hassle to find, right? But yeah, I, I prefer this one over the new one that they have. But that's just my opinion. <clears throat> now, the, this at the bottom here is uh, the animation um, stuff. So, what I'm going to do is I'll get rid of it so, just so I can show. Um, where you find this. So it's settings, dockers, animation, settings, dockers, uh, timeline, and then settings, dockers, and onion skins. Obviously, you can't move these around if you wanted to, but this is how I have it set up, right? So now we're going to export these to Krissa. Insert melee layers, there you go. And it just kind of makes, like, makes a little like mess here, right? Now we need to make sure the frame rate is the same as uh, before. So it's 24 frames that we had it as at before. Right, since our frame rate is correct, we can now um, actually make the animation. 
So we want to go to the first frame, which would be zero, 0, right? For some reason there's sevens at the bottom, which it should be at the top. Sometimes that happens, I don't really know why. And we start with zero, 0, and then we're going to duplicate the frame, right? So we're going to press this button. Get that button here. And see, as you can see, it's now created like a big like, line, right? This will make this means that the animation will just continue throughout the whole thing, right? So now there's two things that we could do here. So we could theoretically just only use half of these images. So technically we only need one of these and one of these and one one of the rest of them, right? Because um this will get this will clone it. So it's like this one, this one, that's frame one. Then this one, this one's frame two. So it, it could go like that, right? But for this example, I'm just going to use them more as it is, right? So anyway, we'll have our first frame. So now we're going to go up here. And this is going to be frame 2, right? So it goes frame 1, frame 2, frame 3, frame 4, frame 5, frame 6, right? So it goes like that across, right? And we don't want that multiple um, frames on one layer like this. We don't want that. That's, again, that's only if you want like backgrounds and stuff. Not other like, elements that you want on top of the animation you already have. Uh... Now we just want to duplicate. Now I'm going to use a keyboard first. Uh, duplicate, 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 duplicate. I'm just going to keep doing that, right? See, there's the end of our animation. And then we're going to go to the start and we're going to create blank frames. So we're going to go blank, 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 blank. Now, as you can see, we now need to get rid of uh, these um, uh, these frames. So we just uh, Go one square over uh, like the actual co coloured in frame, and then we go blank, 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 right? And then we, as we say, it ends on frame seven. So since it ends on frame seven, we need to make sure that this ends on uh, seven as well. So there you go. And then we press play, and then watch. So there's our animation, and it's that same uh, frame rate. Right, so now we want to file, render animation. Uh, and we'll make sure we save it in the right place. We'll call this example. And then you also going to have to select your FFmpeg, which um, I think you have to go out your way to find this. So if you do, I'll put this in the description. I'll look this up afterwards, right? Okay, basically just go in FFmpeg, uh, bin, and then, uh, this one. That's basically the encoder, right? And you just OK that. And then we go to pictures, and then boom, here it is. But notice how we do have the background, though, because uh, I did forget to uh, get rid of the background. So we go around, go down, get rid of that. Right, render. Uh, this one. Example. There you go. Right here you go. So now it's got a transparent background, and we if we had it at um at one uh, one one two by one one two, that would make it um suitable to switch, right? i will make a suitable to switch. But speaking of, if you are going to make an emote to switch, you need to make sure that it's at most fifty five frame uh, frames total. You can't go beyond that, otherwise it starts glitching out. I believe it's uh, uh fifty five frames. And it can't be uh, it can't be at 60 uh, FPS either. You have to make sure it's um, also under 60 as well. So that's something to keep in mind, right? So don't make super long animations. All right, but yeah, that, that, that's basically it. That's basically my whole process from start to finish. Like you, you can literally use that whole um, process to make basically anything you want. So if I go on pictures, so I, I made like this with the same like uh, methods. I done <laughs> here's my other one that I done. Uh, we got our uh, OWO, right? So you can literally make uh, anything and everything as long as you like put your mind to it, right? And I hope it does help, right? I hope it helps. Just um, uh, let me let me know uh, if there's any questions and that, and I'll be I'm glad to help, right? I'm always glad to help. Oh yeah, uh, hopefully this record exactly decent this time and not muted. And uh, I'll talk to you next time, right? I'll talk to you next time, everyone.